Hello. Uh, crash course on cyclical analysis for trading with timing solution software. Uh, you see, because we will speak about uh, cyclical analysis or in math uh, they usually call it um, harmonic analysis, firstly I would like to mention that uh, cyclical analysis has been invented long term a long time before us, we just following the great uh, scientific uh, tradition that has been uh, established already 200 years ago. Uh, the main person here, for sure, this is a great French mathematician, uh, Jean-Baptiste uh, Joseph Fourier. He has invented cyclical analysis already 200 years ago. And um, another guy, um, you see, uh, already Sir Isaac Newton already uh, 300, 300 years ago said, if I have, if, if I have seen further, it is by standing upon the shoulders of the giants. Uh, so the giants for me, for me, uh, this is firstly, of course, uh, Jean-Baptiste Fourier. Uh, this is guy who has invented cyclical analysis as we know it now. Then Arthur Schuster, uh, this is uh, the first guy who started to calculate um, uh, periodograms, this is spectrum model in time and solution. Later, when I was a student, uh, Andrei Kalmaorov, uh, this is the uh, greatest uh, Russian mathematician. For example, uh, statistics as we know it now uh, has been developed uh, by Andrei Kalmagorov. Uh, next person, Robert Pardo, uh, this is more about trading. Uh, you see, Robert Pardo invented uh, wall forward analysis. This is now this is standard for finance, and in time of solution we use uh, wall forward analysis a lot. Uh, also, um, very uh, interest, uh, very important guys for me. This is Larry Williams. Uh, this is actually a real trader who applied real cyclical analysis and uh, to get real money. Great guy, and many other guys. So now it's enough about person, uh, persons, now about uh, cyclical analysis itself. Now I will try to explain you very fast uh, the core idea of cyclical analysis. Uh, the core idea of cyclical analysis, or uh, this is the same as harmonic analysis, proposes that the most process in the universe uh, may be described as superposition of different harmonic functions. In other words, as different sinus waves with different periods, amplitudes and phases. You see like chart like this, and this is actually simple superposition of uh, three harmonic waves. And the most important question is, uh, how to re reveal the most important for cycles, how to find the periods for, for the most important cycles. The answer is, we should apply spectrum model. In time solution they call it spectrum model. Sometimes they call it uh, periodograms. In math they usually call it a Fourier transform. From Wikipedia, Fourier transform uh, in mathematics uh, this uh, uh, for, um, uh, FT. This is mathematical transform that uh, decompose a function into uh, frequ frequencies domain. Like you see, this is a kind of price chart uh, it, uh, in time domain. And applying uh, Fourier transform, uh, we will get this chart in um, periods domain. The highest peak here corresponds to the most important cycles. Um, there are many algorithms to calculate spectrum. Actually, when I work it in uh, science in Institute of Nuclear, Nuclear Research, uh, we often used um, FFT, Fast Fourier Transfer. You can Google it; it's well well known technology. But in time solution, we apply uh, much more complicated algorithms, um, very precise algorithm that more suitable for noisy financial data. Okay, now it's time to run time and solution. Uh, I have downloaded type of, in time solution uh, very special data sets. Uh, this is kind of price chart, but uh, I built uh, this price chart special way. Um, and this is actually superposition of uh, 35, 76, and 126 day cycles. Simple superposition of three cycles. And now I want to see how um, uh, um, uh, time solution uh, technology allows to reveal uh, cycles from this data set. I simply run spectrum model, clicking this button spectrum, and in few seconds I will get uh, we, this price chart. This is periodogram. Uh, the highest peak here corresponds to the most important cycles. And as you see, we have three the most important cycles. The first one, 
uh, 40, uh, 31 999 so it's uh, very precisely uh, 35 days cycles this is fuel cycles uh, second uh, 76 and uh, the last one 126 uh, day cycles you see the program uh, revealed have revealed uh, has revealed uh, the most important cycles very precisely and now uh, we built the projection line based on these three cycles. Simply drag and drop these cycles into main screen and you will get this one. You will get uh, this red projection line. This is superposition of three sinus waves. As you see, this superposition, this projection line is prolonged into future. This is uh, the best feature of um, cyclical analysis we can uh, we can uh, prolong our projection line in the future by the way check a look at this you see a red black here this is original price chart and uh, red this is how program uh, models this price chart you see it's uh, they uh, uh, explains it uh, very precisely so they are pr practically identical identical black and uh, red uh, curves here uh, exactly the same approach we can apply for real financial data. Uh, what I did here in science, they call it a numeric experiment. You see, before applying uh, our technology for real stock market uh, that applies uh, that uh, for real trading uh, that involves real money, we need to check that our algorithms, our procedures work very uh, work good and stable. So I build built uh, artificial data set and uh, check how um, uh, spectrum model works uh, this uh, this uh, artificial data sets. You see, I have a lot of uh, data sets like this uh, to check how different models in time solution work. So uh, before uh, applying any technology in for uh, trading, we need to check uh, this uh, technology on uh, some uh, special data to conduct uh, numeric experiments. Uh, once again. Um, I want to re repeat once again the core idea of cyclical analysis. You see, initially we have some data sets, well, it may be price chart or whatever. Uh, applying the spectrum model, we reveal the most important cycles, highest peak here, this is the most important cycles. And after that, uh, we build projection line uh, based on revealed uh, cycles. Uh, this is how cyclical analysis works. Um, one more thing I want to mention. Um, periodogram was invented uh, by um, uh, British uh, um, uh, physicist, uh, scientist uh, Arthur Schuster, uh, this is a uh, um, Germany-born guy, he has invented a uh, periodogram in 1899, uh, 8, 1898, and uh, you see I promised to explain you um, this uh, subject in 30 seconds but it took almost six minutes when we studied this uh, subject in uh, university it took uh, several months and one more thing i want to show you i want to show you uh, how it works for stock market just a fast example you see i have downloaded s p uh, since uh, 1940 uh, and uh, i have already calculated this periodogram periodograms and you see the highest peak here corresponds to this is this one. Uh, this is a cycle. Actually, I know this cycle. This is 30 month cycles. This is uh, Yaglar, not Yaglar. This is kitchen inventory cycles, 31.6 uh, month cycles. And here you can see the projection line based on these cycles. On this cycle. Uh, we can uh, enrich this cycle. Uh, Increasing the amount of overtones, you see, this is kind of for us. But uh, we explain uh, it will be more explanation uh, regarding how to make for us for stock market. This is just fast example. Uh, in this episode, I would like to explain you a very confusing confusing question. It's a waveform, and uh, you see, I, I put the equal sign between waveform form and overtones, and I will explain you why. Uh, look at these four charts. You see, at least these uh, four waveforms. Uh, all these waveforms has the same have the same period, two hundred two thousand days, like this uh, very well known. 
a sinus wave with period of 1000 days. Uh, this is bottom chart, this is a uh, green uh, pulse wave and the period of this pulse wave is uh, the same, 2000 days. Uh, blue, this is a soul tooth uh, wave, the period of this soul tooth wave are the same, 2000 days. This is red, you see uh, this kind of track, you see it looks like track, this is track uh, waveforms. Um, you see all these um, uh, waveforms are variations of the same uh, 2000 day cycles. They are built using different overtone terms. Um, definition, overtone terms. Overtone terms, it's, uh, this is parts of the uh, original way. For example, we have uh, the, uh, this wave, 2000 wave, this is original way, first overtone. This is sinus or cosine wave uh, with period 2000 days. Uh, second overtone term. Uh, this is uh, half of period. This is sinus of cosine wave with period uh, 1000 days. Half. Uh, third overtone. So this is uh, one third period of original wave. This is uh, sinus of cosine wave with period uh, 666.666. Uh, days and so any function of this uh, waveform uh, can be built as superposition of different uh, overtone terms uh, with different weights and so on. Uh, why I put um, uh, uh, equal sign between overtones and waveform? Because uh, there is very well known theorem, a Fourier series theorem, that states that any periodic function, uh, this is we analyze periodic function, uh, the function that repeats itself when we shift it, uh, in most cases can be expressed as superposition of uh, different sinus and cosinus overtone terms. In other words, uh, combining uh, uh, these overtone terms in different proportion, we can get any uh, waveforms. Um, uh, to be precise, um, uh, this uh, theorem uh, states that in most cases, in most cases it means that um, uh, there are w very special functions, then uh, we can, uh, very special periodic function where we can apply Fourier series uh, theorem, uh, but believe me, this is very, very, very specific function, they are very choppy, they are very um, uh, unsmooth, uh, stock market function functions are crazy, but uh, these functions is more are more crazy. So uh, in most cases in our life uh, we can apply Fourier theorem for any uh, periodic function. Uh, one more thing I want to mention that Fourier um, developed uh, this um, time series series and then he tried to solve one heat equation. By the way, uh, he uh, first uh, Fourier, Joseph Fourier was with the first guy who um, invented uh, this uh, uh, greenhouse effect, uh, very popular now. He invented it to uh, 200 200 years ago and uh, 18, 1820. Now it's time to run time solution. Uh, this is one more numeric experiment where I want to show you how Overton works. You see, uh, I built special function. This is so two function, you see. And now I uh, apply spectrum model for so two function to uh, reveal uh, the period of this so two for wave. By the way, the period of this way is uh, some another value, not 2000 days, I don't, I don't remember, you will see now. So I run spectrum model and it will immediately reveal the period of this wave. Here it is, the highest peaks and the period of this wave, I'll show you, oh yeah, uh, five, uh, 570 days. Um, yep, and you see uh, how um, uh, program how program uh, models this uh, so to wave, it models it using this uh, sinus wave. Uh, it's, uh, the period is the same, but it's not precise. Not precise. Now let's increase the amount of overtones. Now we use only one overtones. We will get a sinus wave, nothing else. Increase the uh, amount of overtones. We will add one more overtones. Okay, you see it's more, more precise now. Three overtones. More precise, four overtones, sorry, four overtones, five overtones, six overtones, seven overtones, eight overtones. You see increasing amount of overtones, we can model any periodic function. So um, use amount of overtones to get enriched projection line. Uh, yep, that's it about overtones. 
Uh, in this episode, I will explain difference between permanent and dominant cycles or wavelet cycles. Uh, you see permanent cycles. This is cycles that works always the same way. For example, it works the same way now as it worked, for example, a hundred years ago. Uh, dominant cycles or wavelet cycles. Uh, this is uh, another story. This is cycle that works uh, only within restricted period of time. It means that they can observe this cycle uh, for a while. After that period, the cycle disappears. It loses its energy. Um, very important parameter for dominant cycles. This is SM, stock memory. This is life expectancy of dominant cycles. Uh, for trading, actually, we mostly will use dominant cycles. Uh, they are more suitable for trading. But um, uh, to get a general picture, uh, permanent cycles are important as well. I will show you why. Uh, so now welcome to cyclical analysis and uh, regarding permanent cycles I can tell only one. Only business cycles can be considered as fundamental, as uh, permanent ones. All other cycles, are, um, there are no cycles that work forever. Only business cycles work. Uh, work stable. Okay, and uh, I recommend uh, you to memorize all these uh, uh, economical cycles, all business cycles. Uh, keep these cycles uh, in mind. Uh, firstly, uh, this is all cycles, economical cycles I know. Firstly, this is uh, of course um, definitely seasonal one-year cycle. Uh, the structure, the um, structure of this cycle change, changes, for example, um, Christmas pattern now works different uh, than it worked, uh, for example, 100 years, years ago, but the seasonal cycle still works. Uh, another, this is two-year cycle. Uh, I have no idea why this cycle works, but uh, this cycle works. I will always see this cycle. Uh, next cycle, I love this cycle, it's 40 months. Uh, kitchen inventory cycle. Uh, actually, this uh, period, um, the period of uh, this cycle changes between uh, 38 till 40, 20, 40, uh, 42 months. Yeah. Another cycle, this is a uh, 9, 12 years jugular economical cycle. I did research and have found that the period of this cycle is getting smaller. In other words, uh, the period of this uh, cycle now is smaller than it was, uh, for example, 100 years ago. Another cycle, this is contractive key wave. 50-60 uh, years cycle, but uh, from my understanding, we do not have enough price history to make uh, any conclusion regarding this cycle. This cycle is too long. Another, it's uh, Kuznets 20 years cycles, 20 years swing. Uh, Kuznets states that this cycle related with demogra demographic changes, uh, immigration flow, and uh, this immigration flow um, changes. Um, uh, Infrastructure investment um, structure, uh, infrastructure infrastructural investment. Uh, this is 20 years cycle. Uh, I also did a research um, comparing uh, presidential cycle, uh, U.S. presidential cycle. This is four years cycles, 40 month cycles. Uh, but I have found that kitchen 40 month cycles uh, works better than presidential cycle. So I recommend to use uh, kitchen. Uh, cycle is instead uh, presidential cycle. Uh, kitchen cycle works better. Uh, now uh, the pictures. Uh, this great guy who invented this cycle. First one, this is Joseph um, Kitchen. Uh, this is um, a British businessman, a statistician, stat statistician and he see, you see he analyzed cyclical um, uh, business cycles from point of, uh, point of view uh, businessman. He analyzed, um, uh, like all parameters together, uh, uh, English interest rates, uh, commercial situation, uh, output flow, uh, full employment. Actually, we can. Uh, I think um, it seems to me this is a cycle of uh, demand and supply. And he analyzed all these parameters and uh, have found that uh, they form this cycle, 40-month cycle. Uh, another guy, uh, Clement Jugler, it's a French, it seems to me he's a doctor. 
his doctor and uh, he analyzed this cycle um, uh, from investment point of view from investment point of view of you like um, f uh, capital capital allocation and he has found that a capital allocation cycle it's not related with kitchen uh, parameters uh, like employment uh, like uh, uh, this um, and this is another cycle, 10 year cycle, um, fixed capital cycle. Uh, uh, Nikolai Kondratyev, Russian economist, he analyzed uh, um, like Western capitalism economical activity, like uh, oscillation between boom and followed uh, depression after that. Okay, next step I would, I would like to show you how to calculate, uh, how to reveal this. Uh, economical cycles with time in solution. Just a sec. I have developed the longest available price history. This is monthly uh, Dow Jones price history since uh, uh, 17, uh, 1789 till now. So it's 230 years, a lot of price history, uh, monthly data, and now I calculate spectrum. But I will calculate spectrum special way. You see what important here. Firstly, you see we do not, we should not use close because you see the price it's uh, we have a very strong trend, and so we need to we need to um, detrend this data to remove the trend to move um, our target flat. So I recommend to set uh, this parameter uh, relative price oscillator and to set uh, fifty. Uh, I set uh, 30, so 30, 30 months smoothing period. So this is relative price oscillator. We will ca calculate spectrum for relative price oscillator. Uh, now they call it uh, mostly percentage price oscillator. And very important parameter here it is uh, set it all bars. So when you set out all bars, uh, the program will calculate permanent cycles. Otherwise, when you set uh, calculate last uh, cycles. We calculate dominant cycles with stock memory 20 cycles. But now we'll calculate permanent cycles. So all bars, it means permanent cycles. I click calculate and wait a bit. Okay, almost done. You see all cycles are here. Uh, the, the highest peak, it's correspond to definitely a juggler economical cycle. You see the period of the juggler economical cycle is uh, 9.1 uh, years cycle. You see, by the way, you can see how this cycle works in time. You see this forecast based on jugular economical cycle. The next cycle, the highest one, this is definitely kitchen economical cycle. I will pick out the cycle. You see uh, for uh, 40, uh, 40 month cycles and you see how the cycle works in time as well. Uh, as I explained in previous uh, class, we can uh, play with uh, amount of your to make uh, to enrich our um, cycles. Uh, next cycle, uh, this is uh, 20 years cycle, here it is. Uh, you see a period a little bit different than 40 years, actually it shows uh, uh, 18 years cycle. It's close to Kuznets cycles, not precisely, but uh, uh, this cycle actually presents. Maybe this cycle related with uh, north North. Uh, um, uh, uh, moon, not, not, not uh, this is a metonic cycle, maybe. And another cycle, you see this peak. I show you, I see, I will do zoom here. You see, this cycle is two year cycle, it's uh, strong as well. Uh, besides that, we have another cycle, so we have another peaks. But uh, if you play with uh, this period, for example, we will change LBC position and calculate. Uh, uh, price history um, calculate periodogram using another price history from another LBC position. You will see that these cycles will disappear, while uh, these cycles, uh, juggler, uh, kitchen, and two year cycles uh, are practically the same. So, this is how to calculate uh, economical cycles with time solution. One more, one, uh, once again, to calculate permanent cycle, set all bars. Uh, episode number six, normalization or the trended data. Uh, you see there is uh, one very important fundamental or mathematical problem. We cannot apply cyclical analysis for data that has trend. Uh, 
uh, because stock market uh, for uh, stock market this is definitely trended data uh, we have to handle this situation somehow just a sec i will show you two examples from timing solution okay first example you see you already know this data set so this is um, artificial data set this is superposition of 35 76 and 126 days cycle and you see uh, this data has no trend this is uh, uh, this uh, data uh, this uh, the value uh, changes in uh, range uh, minus uh, 250 plus more 250 so for data like this um, we can use um, the cl close value uh, so the, to calculate spectrum for this we use uh, simply close value we do not need any uh, do, do not need any normalization here so it's okay for this data we can use uh, you can apply cyclical analysis for for value itself uh, now i will show you another uh, you see uh, when I calculated uh, economical cycles for long term Dow, uh, we did uh, normalization. Uh, you see why we do it. Uh, if we now look at uh, Dow, for example, now it's uh, about around uh, thirty thousand, thirty thousand. Uh, for example, if we analyze um, uh, Dow, for example, uh, thirty years ago in uh, nineteen ninety. Uh, the value it was uh, about uh, two to three thousands it was uh, 10 times smaller Dow uh, 30 years ago 10 times uh, less than it's now so if we will apply um, a cyclical analysis for close value for Dow itself without normalization the program will definitely take into account the latest value because it's big one but uh, practically ignore the data 30 years ago or for example uh, 100 years ago 100 years, years ago uh, Dow was a thousand times less uh, smaller so uh, we cannot uh, for calculation like this we cannot apply close itself we need to normalize this data to make it flat to remove trend usually uh, for this um, purpose I use um, a relative process letter here it is uh, 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 relative price oscillator and you see uh, when you calculate the program uh, shows target target here is it shows relative price oscillator for um, uh, Dow uh, Dow you see has trend but relative price oscillator has not trend and we can apply cyclical analysis for relative price oscillator uh, uh, by the way um, you can use also MACD you can use uh, also uh, uh, RSI, ADX or volatility because uh, this uh, indicators has not trends uh, and there is one more question you see uh, here I use for relative process letter I use period uh, smoothing period 30 months uh, this is monthly data uh, what um, uh, what uh, parameters use uh, for uh, relative process letter uh, you see there are no um, uh, formal math procedures how to do it but uh, there is uh, some experience uh, i recommend to do this i recommend uh, to set uh, the value for uh, smooth uh, for uh, relative oscillator value that uh, good uh, fits for major size cycle for example uh, if we uh, analyze uh, end of day da data, uh, it's uh, the major cycle here, it's annual cycle. So I recommend to use uh, uh, relative price oscillator with period uh, like uh, 50, uh, 70. Uh, because if you draw this um, oscillator, you will see that uh, this cycle, uh, this oscillator, good fits for, um, uh, for annual cycle. Uh, if you use smaller period like 10, uh, 10 you see this uh, it's uh, this oscillator is too choppy uh, for monthly data uh, the major cycle this is uh, i believe this is a uh, kitchen or maybe a juggler economical cycle so you need to set this value to get uh, to catch uh, four years or maybe 10 years cycle uh, for intraday the major cycle this is uh, daily cycle so you need to set a uh, um, value 
a smoothing value uh, good enough to set um, set uh, to catch uh, uh, daily cycle. So I recommend to play this with this value. Just look at this chart and look uh, uh, how this oscillator looks, how it uh, fits for major cycles. Uh, episode number seven. This is kind of disclaimer. Uh, we will start to work with dominant cycles, and uh, I must to say, this is uh, for me actually this is long story, very long story. And um, uh, this story started uh, 25 years ago, even more than 25 so already, uh, with um, a very confusing uh, numeric experiment. Uh, you see the random chart at and S and P 500 or any financial instrument price charts look very similar from a cyclical point of view. It means that we sh should be very extremely cautious when choosing cycles, because spectrum model reveals both types of cycles. Cycles that uh, um, re uh, exist in um, stock stock market, that are generated by the stock market, and the cycles ge that are generated by chaos. Uh, so, chaos is always nearby, we should remember about that. And now I will show a random solution just and uh, I will show you the chart that confused me a lot uh, 25 years ago. You see, this is um, um, uh, artificial price chart. This is not real price chart. I um, uh, built this um, price chart special way. It generated by random values, by random, uh, um, random values. So uh, it means uh, this chart is impossible to forecast. It's random movement. And uh, when, but when we calculate spectrum for this random chart, you see we will get a very reasonable um, uh, spectrum. You see, just a sec. It looks like a real, like uh, you see we have peaks here. And for example, we uh, will pick up uh, one cycle. You see we'll get a forecast based on these cycles. It's uh, how many, 114 days. And we'll increase amount of overtones and uh, get, uh, get uh, you see, more detailed price chart. And you see, this price chart, this forecast uh, looks very, very good. But in reality, it uh, it's nothing because uh, this chart is impossible to forecast. So this is a very confusing result. So uh, it means that um, uh, chaos is always nearby. So um, when we calculate spectrum, we uh, see both kind of cycles. Cycles uh, real stock market cycles and uh, cycles generated by chaos. Uh, I will show you the typical um, problem. Uh, usually then when new user starts uh, to use uh, time solution uh, in run spectrum model, model uh, very often he uh, picks, uh, picks up a lot of cycles, like in this example uh, 12 cycles. Uh, then uh, dragging and drop uh, the cycles into main screen, he, uh, they got, uh, this user got the projection line based on these um, 12 cycles. This is not good, um, not a good approach because um, uh, besides uh, important cycles, uh, it was uh, uh, this user um, uh, picked it up um, uh, uh, cycles generated by chaos, and uh, I guarantee you, guarantee guarantee you that um, uh, these uh, chaos cycles uh, this spoil all results. And this is actually uh, Gigo concept, garbage in, garbage out. So you should be very uh, cautious about garbage, what um, uh, we use for forecasting. Okay, in next section, section it will be um, explained uh, the technology how to pick up cycles. Uh, episode number eight, how to pick up the most important cycles to minimize the chaos. Uh, actually, you see, this is a very, very complicated question, and uh, we are working with, uh, with, with that hard. Uh, there are not some, uh, some math procedure, like run this model, you, you will get the cycles that always work. It does not does not work this way. This is a kind of medicine. We are not um, uh, some medicine that uh, always work, but we have some experience. We have some rules, and we have to uh, follow these rules. We call these rules timing solution pro uh, uh, cyclical protocol number one. Uh, this uh, protocol includes uh, three sets of rules. I will show them. 
Uh, actually, we have also another timing solution pro cyclical protocol number two. Uh, but uh, you see, uh, it presents now in a uh, trading spe spectrum model in timing solution. But uh, you see, uh, uh, it is still too experimental. So so far, I recommend uh, timing solution uh, cyclical protocol number one. So timing solution prot uh, uh, protocol number one includes um, three sets of rules. Uh, rule A. Uh, this is rules kind of do not do that rules. Uh, stay away from cycles. Uh, stay away from uh, two white cycles. You see, stay away from cycles uh, uh, like this. You see, this cycle is too white. Uh, better use cycles more, more, more certain like uh, this one. You see, uh, my um, this one. But uh, this cycle, it's um, it's uh, it's very white. Another, uh, I high, highly recommend uh, to avoid uh, closely located cycles, like um, you see these cycles and uh, this is uh, nearby very close located in other cycles. I will show you, uh, because uh, in this case, if we will use uh, these two cycles, they, they will interfere in each other and uh, finally disappear, they uh, lose their energy. So, this is Two do not use rules. Two white cycles and two close located cycles. Another rules uh, be uh, fundamental cycles are preferred. You see, um, twenty more than 20, twenty five years we do uh, cyclical analysis and uh, we have uh, found some some cycles that um, uh, that uh, 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 that works uh, most of the time like annual cycle like kitchen inventory cycles uh, like uh, for example uh, 57 day cycles so firstly you need to pay attention to cycles that confirm it by fundamentals uh, i will show you example and also rule number uh, rule c uh, for all cycles for other candidates, but I recommend for all cycles, I highly recommend to conduct walk forward analysis. And now I switch to timing solution. This is timing solution. And I have downloaded uh, the S&P till uh, today, uh, have calculated, um, calculated spectrum and let's apply our uh, rules uh, for this spectrum. Uh, rule number one, uh, avoid uh, two white cycles. You see, look at this cycle. This is cycle very white, too white, uh, because you see the energy of this cycle. It's uh, uh, 36, uh, 36 something, 37 day cycles. But also, it's uh, so there is some energy here in 51 day cycles. So the energy of these cycles is uh, too distributed. It's um, between different cycles, so it's a confusing cycle, it's too wide. Uh, better use these cycles, you see, uh, high and narrow cycles. These cycles, these cycles, you see, it's high and narrow. Maybe this cycle, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the, these cycles you can try. Okay, uh, next uh, rule. Do I highly, highly recommend to do not, do not use uh, two cl closely located cycles. Like you see, if we use this cycle, this cycle, it's uh, 318 day cycles. I do not recommend to use this cycle. Uh, you see, uh, let's, uh, I will show you what is going on. I try to calculate um, projection line based on these th two cycles. Look at this. I drag and drop these two cycles to the main screen and uh, look at this what I will get. Uh, we will get a resonance bits. Okay, you see, this is interference, in, inter, uh, interference between two cycles. Uh, um, this is, uh, they call it a resonance, a resonance bits. Uh, this is not good. Better do not use this cycle. Uh, second cycles. You see, when I work it uh, in um, Science Institute of of nuclear research, uh, we met uh, this uh, phenomena um, when um, uh, in a particle ex acceleration device. Uh, usually, uh, we call this uh, the second cycle parasite cycle because this parasite 
cycles spoils the main cycles. You see, there is main oscillation and parasite oscillation. So stay away from parasite oscillations. Uh, next uh, rule, okay, I will remove the cycles. Next rule, um, uh, fundamental cycles are preferred. Uh, look at this um, uh, chart. You see there are uh, uh, sets of um, uh, this uh, yellow uh, uh, vertical stripes. You see this one, this one, this one, this one. This is a cycle so that uh, have some fundamental confirmation. Uh, like, uh, as I told, ex explained to you already, uh, kitchen inventory cycle. You see, we have seen, uh, we can see kitchen inventory cycle. By the way, the, the kitchen inventory cycles coincides with this, this peak. And this is very good sign. So, I firstly, I recommend to use the cycles, the peaks that coincide with uh, this vertical stripe. The cycles has uh, some um, uh, fundamental confirmation. By the way, you look at this while I uh, move the mouse cursor on this panel, at this panel, uh, it shows what a uh, cycle is. And you see this is a uh, 40 months inventory cycle, the kitchen inventory cycles. Uh, what is this? This is a uh, one year cycle. What is that? This is, uh, look at this, this is uh, Venus um, phases, Venus synodic cycle. So. As I explained, firstly, I recommend to use cycles that are confirmed by um, fundamentals. Because, uh, for example, there is uh, one cycle, uh, 50, 50, um, uh, 50, uh, 57 days cycles. Uh, I don't know how, why this cycle works, but I me we matter this cycle very often for different financial instruments. So, I put this cycle as a fundamental one. Uh, so... Uh, uh, look at this, what cycles we will choose now? Firstly, of course, kitchen inventory cycle. And uh, uh, you see, we can use uh, this cycle, uh, 50, uh, 50, 57.7 day cycles. What else? Uh, uh, maybe this cycle, uh, Venus synodic cycle. Okay, let's try this one cycle. Okay, uh, so uh, there are th three cycles, maybe more cycles. Okay, you can check, check it yourself. Next step. Uh, for each cycle, uh, I recommend uh, to conduct walk forward analysis. Uh, firstly, uh, let's check these cycles, our fundamental cycles. So, we need to highlight this button. Highlight this button. Now let's start with kitchen cycle. And uh, click WFA, walk forward analysis. Okay, I got, you see, this is very good, very good cycle. You see, these red bars uh, indicates us that last uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, last six years, uh, this uh, uh, cycle, uh, uh, six cycles, not yes, six cycles, um, this uh, cycle uh, worked uh, good. Correlation between projection line based on this cycle and price, it's uh, positive. First cycle, it was uh, um, 17%, uh, before that it was 28%, whatever. Uh, and uh, uh, it means that since the beginning of 2000, this cycle uh, works good. It provides a positive correlation. Uh, so we will use this cycle. Uh, next cycle, uh, let's check uh, 57 day cycles. Uh, actually not bad too. So since, since uh, May, since May 2020, uh, this cycle uh, works okay. You see, uh, this is uh, uh, May. Because of this, the period of this cycle, it's uh, smaller, it's, uh, and so uh, four cycles, it's uh, four multiplier line, uh, 57 days, it will be uh, May uh, 2020. So since, since May, this uh, cycle worked uh, okay. Uh, next, I will check this cycle, uh, Venus Synodic cycle. Uh, you see, this is uh, not good, you see, because uh, we have positive correlation, but then we have a uh, negative correlation, positive correlation, a negative correlation. This is not good cycle. So we will not use cycle. So click this button. We will not use cycles. You see, before that, uh, there are some other cycles. For example, this cycle uh, looks very good because uh, there are no uh, fundamentals uh, confirmation, but uh, it's, uh, it's um, uh, high, and uh, 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 high and narrow. Okay, I will uh, pick up this cycle and will conduct walk forward analysis for this cycle. Uh, not, uh, it's not working. Next, uh, maybe let's uh, check uh, the cycle this one. Okay, walk forward analysis. Uh, yeah, it's cycle, possibly the cycle works. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's uh, leave only two cycles. Um, now, uh, how to build uh, the projection line based on uh, this uh, On these uh, two cycles, uh, simply drag and drop this cycle to the main screen. Just a, uh, once again, uh, just drag and drop. Uh, what we will see? Uh, look at this. this is a superposition of uh, 40 months and uh, 50 days, 57 day cycles. Oh, actually, I do not like it. You see uh, why it happens? Because, because you see these cycles are very different. It's uh, uh, it's not good idea put these uh, two cycles in the, um, one box. So these cycles are too different. So maybe uh, I will remove uh, this uh, superposition of these two cycles and maybe I recommend to analyze these cycles separately. So this is uh, red, this is uh, uh, kitchen inventory cycles and this is uh, 57 day cycles. So next parameters I recommend to play, uh, this is uh, this amount of returns. Okay, so you, this way you can enrich this cycle. And maybe also you will um, uh, check, um, uh, you can play with uh, forecast stock memory, this parameter. So play with for a custom stock memory uh, not yeah you have you will find explanation regarding forecast stock memory on our website so uh our tones is all, uh, already explained but uh, check on our website for a stock memory so this is kind of forecast and finally this is resume once again, because this is very important, resume for timing solution uh, cyclical protocol number one. So, uh, there are several rules. Firstly, avoid uh, uh, two narrow cycles, uh, high and uh, two narrow cycles, uh, two wide, sorry, two wide cycles. Uh, uh, high and narrow cycles are preferable. Uh, also, avoid close located cycles like this one and this one. Uh, next rules, uh, fundamental cycles are preferred. So check uh, fundamental cycles uh, firstly. And uh, last rule um, for other uh, cycles uh, or better for all cycles, uh, conduct work for one analysis. When you build the projection line based on cycles, I recommend to play with uh, amount of overtones and forecast stock memory. And next episode number nine. Uh, now we will we will apply uh, visual cyclical analysis. We will apply very interesting technology wavelet analysis. On our website we will find classes and articles in uh, times uh, uh, regarding wavelet analysis. How to do wavelet analysis with time solution. And you see this is wavelet chart. The horizontal uh, scale this is time, while vertical line this is period of cycles like this 30 days periods, 50 days period. Um, uh, 100 days periods. And you see this uh, uh, horizontal bright yellow stripes, this one, this one, this one, no, all of them, represent um, the cycles that work at this period of time. For example, since uh, December, um, before December 2016 here, uh, till, uh, I tell you, till uh, beginning of December uh, 2017 this cycle worked these cycles the period of these cycles I think about uh, 70 uh, 70 uh, days so this way we can see how cycles appears how it works and how it disappears so this is the whole cycles uh, cycles cycles live cycle um, so what uh, we let chart tells us uh, firstly, uh, usually one, five, max, uh, maximum five cycles work at the same time. Like uh, here, uh, one, two, three, four cycles work at the same time. Here only two cycles work. Here only one cycle works. Uh, next uh, things I want to mention, uh, we've let a um, chart tell us that the periods of cycles does not change too much. Uh, the most uh, lines are horizontal ones. Um, moreover, uh, if uh, the period of cycles changes, changes, actually it's not good sign. It means that this cycle interacts with other cycles and somehow dissipates its energy. Uh, like this example. 
you see this is um, these two cycles getting close to each other finally they dis uh, interfere and finally they uh, disappear both uh, next episode uh, number 10 uh, what is going on when we use too many non-working cycles actually this is very interesting subject you see uh, there is kind of uh, asymmetry between working cycles and non-working cycles you see uh, adding um, new working cycles uh, we increase forecastability linear way uh, for example if we have one cycle so that forecasts five five percent of um, uh, price movement and uh, at another cycle that forecasts five percent uh, the forecast based on superposition of these cycles will um, uh, uh, explain ten percent of uh, of, of uh, stock market behavior uh, to be mathematically precise uh, these cycles actually should be independent in this uh, way we can apply this for, uh, formula uh, they should be uh, not correlated uh, each other otherwise we should apply a base formula whatever but in any case uh, linear uh, adding working cycles we increase forecast ability linear way uh, another story non-linear world uh, non-working non cycles uh, adding new non-working cycles we decrease the forecast our ability exponential way you see exponent grows much more faster so it's not easy to improve cycles while it's very easy to spoil cycles adding a few non-working cycles actually this is a kind of um, in real life it's not easy to uh, do something good but uh, to spoil something to break something uh, it's not a big deal actually this is the situation uh, this is situation for stock market this is specific situation for stock market uh, stock market uh, data sets Benoit Manderbrot named this situation in stock market like a wild randomness compared to mild randomness uh, what we use it to deal with uh, in everyday life uh, the last final episode of uh, this class uh, beyond the classical cyclical analysis you see the things i have explained to you in these um, uh, classes actually this is uh, pretty much uh, classical cyclical analysis this is cyclical analysis as i studied in university or you studied uh, this is uh, um, uh, cyclical analysis I used to apply when I worked in science uh, actually different periods of time uh, different uh, scientific branches apply develop uh, cyclical analysis for their own needs like when I developed timing solution um, started to develop it um, uh, I, re I have read a, lo a lot of articles about um, weather forecast because uh, guys who developed uh, models for weather forecast they, um, they developed special kinds of uh, um, uh, um uh, cyclical analysis very complicated models and uh, but now it seems to me they use uh, more concentrated on big data but um in any case it was uh, um, uh, classical cyclical analysis but there it was one problem i call it seasonal cycle enigma seasonal cycle enigma it was big big question for me long time and you see uh, if we uh, I have calculated um, uh, uh, spectrum for S&P 500 and I know for sure that uh, one year cycle that seasonal cycle definitely works for finance when I run spectrum models I got nothing simply nothing long time i tried to find uh, what is wrong what is uh, maybe some year in quarter or whatever everything's worked okay but no cycles it does not indicate uh, presence uh, existence of uh, annual cycles finally in 2000 uh, in 2016 five years ago five years ago only uh, it was developed a very interesting very um, powerful actually model Q spectrum model model that uh, calculate a uh, uh, spectrum non classical way this is non uh, this is no fourier transform it's different proce procedures based on wolf forward analysis and finally i found i have found my uh, my annual cycle it was here you see there is annual cycles but it's enigma one more enigma you see um, um this model allow, allows to um, uh, reveal normal cycles and also inverted cycles inverted cycles. you see we have uh, two uh, kind of uh, two close located cycles a normal um, 
normal NO cycles and inverted NO cycles. And this is why uh, why I did did not see uh, these cycles on a classical uh, valet diagram because uh, they uh, uh, simply it, uh, it was zero. Uh, negative, negative and uh, positive cycles. So now uh, it was uh, uh, actually this is very uh, powerful model cuckoo spectrum because uh, when it was developed practically uh, all users now use this model uh, because it's in in increased for ability of our cyclical models significantly but now we are developing more complicated more advanced and more powerful features uh, uh, trading spectrum whatever. Uh, in any case you see <laughs> Do you remember when I told uh, when we discussed uh, uh, business cycles? I told about two year cycles. Uh, maybe you see, maybe uh, this uh, two year cycles it's uh, connected with uh, this uh, seasonal cycles. Since uh, like uh, seasonal cycles, one year works in normal mode and another year works in inverted mode. And finally, it got uh, we got uh, uh, two um, year cycles. So. Uh, Welcome to Inverted Cycles. This is our latest development. Thank you.